oozes out to kind of protect the tree. And then they collect that. It's a pretty barbaric process when you think about it. It's kind of like the way we get latex. Uh, it's another gum, just like latex. Uh, in fact, some of these gums, one in particular, gum mastica, mastica, it's Greek, the root of the term masticate is to chew. And the, the muscles involved are called muscles of mastication. And gum mastica, that's the root of the word mastication to chew, is, came from this gum, not the other way around. Um, so you'll see even people chewing on bits of frankincense. It's supposed to help your teeth, it's supposed to be good for your teeth. It's supposed to have some antimicrobial effects, I don't really know. It's got an odd flavor. I mean, when people tell you stuff, you have to taste it, you have to try. Um, you know, it's a, it's a resinous balsamic flavor. This, I believe, is Somali, which, uh, pretty good. Not the best. Pretty good. Better than some countries. So we're going to try this. You might even want to get a little closer if you want. And we're going to try just one pebble. And we're going to see just how much smoke that gives off. And it's quite considerable. Oh, their hand up. I'm sorry. I forgot. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. So, this is in the category resins and gums. This is a gum. Um, you put it in water, it absorbs water. You know, it swells up. Kind of, you can suspend it in water. Take a whiff. See what you think. This is ancient stuff. Uh, if you're one who mm. believes in the collective subconscious, some do, some don't, uh, think about what we're experiencing now is something that people have been experiencing the exact same thing for, I don't know how many thousands of years. <laughs> thousands of years people have been experiencing this and it has not changed. So you see what I mean about your smoke alarm there. Oh, yeah. um, you definitely want to turn the smoke alarm off. In fact, I'm just going to kind of get rid of that. Whoops. Didn't want there, <laughs> but that's okay. So hopefully we don't turn our alarm off. I'll give it a little time. We have other, other resins. Okay, uh, and gums. For example, uh, benzoin Sumatra, or simply called benzoin, the other term. It's an unpleasant sounding word because it just sounds like benzene or benzine. Benzene, though, if you ever, you shouldn't, but if you ever smell benzene, <laughs> I don't think I have. Actually, it's a nice smell. <laughs> so it smells kind of like roses. Oh, really? You know, it's sort of like roses and sort of baked bread, you know, it's an interesting. Hmm. But it, it will can and will cause leukemia if you breathe oh, enough of uh, it, you know, so. But anyway, benzoin, not related, but uh, benzoin Sumatra, the best stuff comes from Sumatra. And you'll often hear the term benzoin Sumatra, you just want to say, is it really benzoin Sumatra? And it, it usually is. The other term you'll hear is Loban. You'll see it listed on some of the incenses, like uh, Kala Loban, um, Kala being a bad example, I mean, because it's an old incense company. They've been around for a long, long time. They decided they didn't want to be in the incense business anymore. The next logical step from being in the incense business is, naturally, you would guess, they're making bicycles now. Right? Sure, why not? Yeah! <laughs> you know, that, that's, that, that seems to be where it progresses. Like, well, we were making incense, logically, bicycles. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, no, 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 no worries. You're, you're, you know, the only thing, um, we were, we were just talking about some beginning of the classification of some of these fragrances. Um, we were beginning with the most simple and most ancient of these, uh, being resins and gums. Basically, these are botanical materials. You can also include herbs, you know, and spices in this category, really. Um... But, you know, when people think of incenses, like raw incenses, they're generally resins and gums. Okay. Um, we showed frankincense just a second ago. We can show it again. Uh, <laughs> frankincense kind of being the, the, I guess, worldwide being the most recognized of them all. Um, I mean, it's used in the Far East, not as much as it is, you know, in, like, Near Eastern Europe and... Um, you will occasionally see it in some Japanese and incenses, but not that often. It's kind of used as a spice for them in their fragrances, so we'll get this lip. Here we go. So, what I put on there was about the size 
of a maybe a very small pea I put on the charcoal and you can see that the smoke it's giving off is quite copious. Um, this is ancient. This is ancient, ancient, ancient stuff. We're talking probably tens of thousands of years that using this stuff and its qualities haven't changed. <laughs> so you're experiencing something very ancient. All right. Now, in here, our culture, we really don't use it very often in uh, by itself. You'll see it like in churches and stuff like that. It uses a sacrament predominantly, but you know, here you don't see it very often. So we're about to show another kind of another culture is frankincense, called benzoin. It sort of comes in these rocks of various sizes and you would easily walk right past them and not even notice that they're there. Um, the best stuff comes from Sumatra. Sumatra is an interesting place, I guess. Do they also come from the tree? Like the yeah, it's also it's a sap. Okay. Um, from Sumatra you get all sorts of amazing stuff, you know, and they tend to be very powerfully fragrant things. I don't know why, maybe this is that tropical thing, like their coffee that they grow there. It's incredible. They feel like Indonesian coffee. Uh, they grow, it's, particularly there's one called Gaio Mountain, it's a fair trade estate. They grow amazing coffee. I mean, they also have Komodo dragons, so I guess, hey, there's a downside to all of it. So, I mean, if you're going to pick your coffee, you better be quick about it, you know. <coughs> Those cats mean business, you know. Oh, I, they also have the, uh, the Sumatran tiger, too, so I'm talking about cats. Anyway, this is Benjamin Sumatra. Um, you'll hear it called Loban from time to time also. And even some of the burners are often referred to as Lobandan. They're used to burn incense. As I mentioned one particular incense, Kala Loban. So this is often used as a raw ingredient to make incenses.